Hello everybody. Today is Giving Tuesday and on behalf of the Belzhansky Foundation, I would like to thank you for your interest, thank you for your curiosity and ask you for your support. The Belzhansky Foundation is like no other foundation doing research on cancer. So let me tell you who we are. And today we are going specifically to address the work done by the Belzhansky Foundation on pancreatic cancer. Why? Because pancreatic cancer is the months that where we speak the most about this kind of cancer in November. November is pancreatic awareness month. So because the Belzhansky Foundation has worked on so many kind of cancer, has so many uh, interesting holistic publications to, to share about so many kinds of cancer, uh, I thought it would be most appropriate this year to share with you about pancreatic cancer as I am going to ask for your support on Giving Tuesday. So let me tell you first a little bit more about the Belzhansky Foundation. The Belzhansky Foundation was uh, incorporated in uh, New York in 1999. It's uh, 501c3. It has been uh, highly recommended uh, over the years for its work, for its uh, transparency. It is known to be a great non-for-profit. Uh, it has received the gold star uh, many times for its work. And uh, we are funding research. That's what we are uh, all about. We are do funding research, uh, integrative approach of uh, against cancer with natural compounds. What uh, we have done over the years uh, is collaborate with a number of academic institutions to further the research on natural compounds and specifically research uh, anti-cancer properties. That has led to a number of uh, peer-reviewed publications. Everything we do gets published and everything uh, is pub available on the website of the Belzhansky Foundation, belzhansky.org. The publications that you can find on our website include topics such as prostate cancer, ovarian cancer, pancreatic cancer, breast cancer, because we have done research on all those kinds of cancer. We currently have a partnership with Kansas University Medical Center, and uh, we have been uh, working with them uh, to study the effects of uh, two plant extracts, specifically on pancreatic cancer stem cells. Now we are looking to extend uh, this line on research on breast cancer stem cells. But let me tell you about the work already done on pancreatic cancer stem cells. Why did we choose pancreatic cancer? Well, because it is one of the most difficult ones to, uh, to treat. According to the American Cancer Society, early pancreatic, can pancreatic cancer do not uh, cause any signs, they don't have any symptoms, and therefore, uh, they are not addressed when they are uh, early stage. And uh, when the really people go to, the, to see the doctor, it's when the can cancer has already grown to become very large and has already spread outside of the pancreas. So late, late diagnosis and very poor outcome. And uh, what, what is... Uh, also very problematic with pancreatic cancer is that scientists do predict rise uh, in deaths from pancreatic cancer and young onset colorectal cancer. This, of course, is linked to the poor quality of the food that we are eating, all the pesticides uh, and endocrine uh, uh, disruptors that are linked 
to our food intake. But that doesn't mean that uh, we are powerless. And actually, I would like to tell you about two plant extracts with uh, anti-cancer properties that were discovered actually by my late father, Dr. Mirko Bajanski, who has a PhD in molecular biology. Uh, he worked most of his uh, career, for most of his career at the Pasteur Institute in Paris, France, and he was one of the first environmentalists to understand uh, that pollution and uh, the environment and poor quality environment could affect our DNA and lead to cancer. But he looked also to the environment to find natural solutions because he thought that natural compounds would be less toxic, more selective uh, in their action uh, than chemical compounds. So he, he actually found two plant extracts, Paupera and Rovolfia vomitoria, which are doing exactly that. They are effective against cancerous cells and they have no effect on healthy cells. So Paupera is coming from South America. Rovolfia vomitoria is coming uh, from Africa. And uh, they were both extensively tested at the Pasteur Institute where my father worked. And uh, here you have, for example, the Paupera in blue, the Rovolfia vomitoria in green on human liver. And you can see how this is, of course, in vitro. In a matter of hours, the, the, you have a nice inhibition of uh, those cancerous uh, cells uh, with both extracts. Here we are speaking of thyroid carcinoma, and again, a nice, very nice inhibition of uh, this uh, cancerous cancer line with uh, both extracts. And here we have uh, breast cancer cells, and again, a very, very nice inhibition of uh, those cancerous cells with both Paupera and Rovolfia vomitoria. So since my father's passing in 98, we as the Belzhansky Foundation have been working uh, extensively with different uh, universities, academic institutions, uh, to confirm the benefits of those uh, two plant extracts on different kinds of cancer cell lines. And uh, here is the research. I told you uh, everything is available on the website of the Belzhansky Foundation, belzhansky.org. And you can see here the activity of uh, both, uh, here the Pau Pereira extract on different kinds of cancer cell lines. Here we have against prostate cancer cell lines. Here we have Pau Pereira inhibits uh, the activity of ovarian cancer cells. Here we have flavoperin, which is the active of Pau Pereira, um, inhibits uh, colorectal cancer cells. Uh, and here you have inhibition of pancreatic cancer and potentiation of gemcitabine effects on the extra with the extract of Pau Pereira. So as this is a really nice confirmation that those extracts are working on a number of cancer cells and uh, so you don't have to think of, is it going to work on this kind of cancer or that kind of cancer? It is a broad spectrum activity. And here, this is telling us that we have a nice synergy also with chemotherapy. Same thing was observed with Rovolfia vomitoria, effectiveness on different kinds of cancer cell lines. Here we have prostate again. Here we have a potentiation of carboplatin against ovarian cancer cells. And here again, we have pancreatic cancer cells and potentiation of gemcitabine. So again, different kinds of cancer cell lines and a nice synergy of action with chemotherapy. Let's look more specifically at those, uh, this research uh, publications done at Kansas University Medical Center on pancreatic cancer here with the Pau Pereira. We are uh, learning here that throughout the course of the experiment, the inhibition uh, was uh, reached here in animal study of the tumor was 70% 
even when the tumor did not respond to gemcitabine anymore, meaning even when there was a, a failure of chemotherapy, it was working. So those little plant extract kept working. And uh, in, consistent with the in vitro dose and the reduction effect for gemcitabine, the combination for paupera and gemcitabine had a better effect than gemcitabine in, vi in vivo. So it was very well, um, it did very well on animals. No tissue damage was detected uh, in any group of the animals. We have a nice synergy with chemotherapy and uh, very good, no toxic, no toxic effect beyond that. And here with the Revolfia vomitoria, it is the same thing. We have a synergy which has been observed with uh, the chemotherapy gemcitabine, inhibiting uh, cancer cell growth, and uh, pancreatic uh, tumor growth was significantly suppressed by the Revolfia treatment. There was no metastasis thanks to the Revolfia. Adding Revolfia to gemcitabine treatment reduced tumor burden and metastatic potential in the gemcitabine non-responsive tumor. Again, this is showing that even when the chemotherapy is not working, the little plant extract here, paupera uh, or Revolfia vomitoria, keep working. So because of those uh, extremely good uh, results, we uh, at the Belgiansky Foundation decided to try uh, those two uh, extracts on cancer stem cells. Cancer stem cells uh, are uh, those cells that are inside the tumor, are indifferentiated, they are very young cells, like embryonic cells, uh, they are uh, uh, very aggressive, and they do resist chemotherapy. So uh, the, the doctor is saying, oh, you are doing very well. The, 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 the chemotherapy is working, the tumor is shrinking. In fact, those uh, the cancerous stem cells within the tumor are resisting. The tumor is shrinking, but it is actually the less aggressive uh, cells, which are destroyed, the most aggressive do stay, they are kind of dormant until the day they are not dormant. Uh, they wake up, they travel in the blood, and they are able to uh, multiply again and create a new tumor, and that's called the tumor relapse. So at the Belzhansky Foundation, we, we thought, you know, maybe it's not because uh, chemotherapy is not working on cancerous stem cells that uh, we are out of option. Maybe we can think out of the box and uh, try uh, to see if um, we can have uh, something to fight cancer stem cells thanks to uh, those little plant extracts, paupera and Revolfia vomitoria. After all, natural compounds offer several advantages of a traditional chemotherapy agents. They are often less toxic, have fewer side effects, and are more suitable for long-term use. They are also more readily available and affordable than synthetic drugs. So um, we, we we said, you know, they are working by themselves, they are working in synergy with chemotherapies, with radiotherapy. Let's try them on pancreatic cancer stem cells. And that's what we did with, uh, at Kansas University Medical Center. So here you have the paupera, here you have the Revolfia vomitoria, and here you have control group here. We are speaking of those cancer stem cells in a petri dish. And when you put here, 50 uh, microgram per milliliter of solution of paupera, you see that there are already less, 100, 200, they are all gone. Revolfia vomitoria, it is the same thing. Here you have a big cluster of uh, cancer stem cells, 100 milligrams, 200 milligrams, they are all gone. Statistically, here what it looks like. We were so excited we said we have to confirm in vivo, in animals, if this is going to translate. And uh, here we are, two publications, again, available on the website of the Belchansky Foundation, belchansky.org, and confirming that uh, paupera and Revolfia vomitoria uh, inhibit uh, in vitro and in vivo 
those pancreatic cancer stem cells. So this is what's done in mice. Uh, we are very, very pro uh, proud of uh, those results. And the idea that we have now uh, at the Belzhansky Foundation is to uh, try to uh, confirm those uh, good results on uh, all kinds of uh, cancer cells, including cancer stem cells. And uh, we are about to embark into a new line on research to uh, fight breast cancer stem cells, because uh, we do believe that the uh, epidemic of breast cancer stem cells will only happen when once uh, we have, we make sure that we have available um, a tool to fight breast cancer stem cells. Uh, that also will bring a huge confirmation of uh, the potential for uh, all kind of cancer stem cells, and uh, hopefully uh, will give hope to all uh, cancer survivors. So uh, please help us, uh, help the Belzhansky Foundation to continue this line of um, cancer research. It is very unique. We have uh, absolutely extraordinary results. There is nothing, uh, nothing like that, nothing like uh, fighting cancer stem cells. Uh, uh, help, again, chemotherapy and radiotherapy are unable to, to do that. Uh, we, we, with the Paupera and the Revolfia vomitoria, have absolutely unique plant extracts. Uh, we are very proud to work with. We are very grateful for our sponsor, Maison Belgiansky, who provides us with those plant extracts and as allow us to, to do this research. We need all the support we can. Uh, this uh, line of research with natural extracts is not supported by pharmaceutical companies. So please help us. And uh, that would be a very good use of, uh, of your donation on uh, Giving Tuesday. Uh, we may together change the future of cancer. So thank you and uh, again, belchansky.org to support the Belchansky Foundation. Thank you.